In this video, I'm going to be making a spectrometer. What this is, is a device which splits light into its component wavelengths. So when you look through it, you'll see what's called a spectrum. An example, a few examples of what you would see are the spectrum of a fluorescent light, a incandescent light, and a neon sign light. The way this works is that there is a slit right at the front which lets in a thin column of light, and then it travels through a barrel, and then right at the bend in all of these is a piece of diffraction grating, which is this stuff. It's a clear plastic, you can buy it on eBay for like six bucks for a square foot is what I did. Make sure you get the linear single axis diffraction grating, because double axis diffraction grating like this stuff does not work. And then you view, you view through this hole right here. I've made four of these so far and I've noticed that the larger one tends to give the cleanest spectrum so that's what I'm going to be building in this video. I'm going to be using aluminum pipe for this but any sort of opaque material will work. Copper pipe, uh, plastic, cardboard, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be spray painting the inside of this black because right now it's shiny and the internal reflections really decrease the quality if they persist. Here is my diagram. I'm going to be using 2.5 centimeter diameter pipe for this. And all of these measurements are pretty subjective, but this is what I'm going to be building. You can definitely modify these to make the barrel shorter. The eyepiece probably shouldn't be longer than 9 centimeters, but the length of this can vary. I found that the shorter ones don't seem to work as well. I'm also going to be including an 8 centimeter uh, bayonet type thing at the top of this that's just an empty piece of pipe that will help reduce any reflections from entering. The main barrel is 25 centimeters long and the eyepiece is about 9 centimeters long. Uh, the angle in between the main barrel and the eyepiece is about 17 degrees and I measured that by shining a red laser and a violet laser through the diffraction grating and the median between those two was 17 degrees so that's what I'm going to be using for this. The main barrel is already cut to length so I'm going to go ahead and cut the bayonet and the eyepiece. I've got my tubing cut so now what I'm going to do is use a compass draw a circle, that's the diameter of the tubing, and cut out the diffraction grating in that shape using a knife. I cut the diffraction grating and I used a fresh razor and a pair of gloves so that way I could get a clean cut around the edge and I didn't scratch it with my fingernail. I also got a strip of this aluminum duct tape and I'm going to use that to secure it into the barrel. Any type of tape can really be used though. I'm also going to clean the diffraction grating with a lint-free cloth and some Windex before I install it. To install the diffraction grating, first I'm going to take the strip of tape and apply it around the edge of the barrel, like so. Now I'm going to fit in the bit of diffraction grating, being careful not to get any fingerprints on it, and I'm going to fold over the edge of the tape so that it holds in the grating. I've got another section of this aluminum foil tape, and this time if you don't have aluminum foil tape, I'd recommend substituting aluminum foil and just some other sort of tape, but I'm going to cut a very straight line in this using a straight edge and the thickness of this line is critical. You want it as thin as possible for the best accuracy of this device. So I'm using razor blade and there's a very very thin cut in there. It's kind of difficult to see through the camera but if you see the rectangular lines that are all oriented in a rainbow, uh, I'm gonna rotate the 
slit and you can see how like right now it's they're all oriented in the wrong direction and then when I flip them a bit they all rotate so that it forms a rectangle you need to line up the diffraction grating in the slit so that it forms this feature I just had to make three different slits until I finally got one that was the right width the slit width completely determines the performance of this because a larger slit will mean larger spectral lines and the larger lines mean that more wavelengths get blurred so now I've got more aluminum tape and I'm gonna install the bayonet type thing now that the eyepiece is mounted the construction of this device is complete and it can be used to view the spectrum of any bright light source in order to view the solar spectrum I would place a white piece of paper in sunlight and then look at that with this device I would not look directly into the sun with this. Another thing I forgot to mention is that putting this frontal bayonet, I'm calling it, also, while it helps to eliminate some internal reflections, it also protects the sensitive slit from anything that would damage it. Uh, so some de design notes. The way this works is that light enters through this frontal aperture a bunch, and it goes through the slit and as it goes through this long tube it's effectively collimated because any light that is not going perfectly straight will hit the side of the tube and be absorbed so only the straight rays of light make it into the diffraction grating now once the light hits the diffraction grating you get the one stream of light that goes straight through that isn't really diffracted at least with my grading, maybe some better grading, all the light is diffracted. But the main light comes in, gets diffracted, or it doesn't get diffracted and goes straight through. Now you also have the two color spectrums that come off on both sides. That's why you can mount the eyepiece in two possible positions. And you get two different rainbows formed. And the reason that this piece is on an angle is so that this straight beam, the unrefracted light, will hit the side of that tube and be absorbed by the black paint. So that only the colors, the refracted light, is viewable through the eyepiece. If the angle of the eyepiece is too shallow, you'll be able to see the unrefracted light that goes straight through the diffraction grating. And since that's not really conducive to the purpose of this device, mounting the eyepiece on an angle is required. I've also seen people build homemade spectrometers using CDs, although I don't think those are as effective as diffraction grating. But if you don't want to buy diffraction grating or it's not available where you live, I would look up some other designs on YouTube that use CDs. Hopefully you found this video interesting, and thanks for watching.